Morning, John. Morning, Did you Elena. Have today? Morning, Elena. Uh, well, we're just the start of February, and we've been on site well, for maybe basically five weeks. There's been quite, a, from an archaeological point of view, he says there's been quite a slow start to the project because we've done a lot of work obviously up to Christmas and since since then we've been doing sort of small watching breaks along the length of the route. Most some down here in Leith and a couple up at uh, London Road area. So we haven't been discovering too much. We found some uh, old surfaces of the dockyard really in, into the 20th century. But one of the surprises, it's always good to have a surprise and highlights the last couple of weeks is what I'm holding today is a cannonball, uh, the third cannonball we found in Leith. Uh, we found it just behind me um, during a small service trench excavation. Now this is really exciting because it's the third cannonball we found and it probably dates to the siege of Leith from the 16th century. It's the second one we've actually found in close proximity to the churchyard, that's why we're standing in the churchyard today. Um, in fact we found the second one just, just uh, over there to our right. Now, we think, well, let's speculate, there's probably shot by the Protestant and English forces who are arranged on the other side of Leith Links. So we've got the fortification behind, they're aiming for the church, which we know from Phelim's map, which is a, a map drawn at the time, sorry, uh, from a map drawn at the time, that the church was actually surrounded by fortifications, so they're obviously some, they're earmarking it and focusing in it. So this cannonball could have actually been shot at the church at the time. It's nice to speculate, but that's what we think. That's amazing. Thanks very much, John. Thank you very much. Okay.